Justice host here at QVC. We're not just program hosts, we also shop here. Uh, I've been part of QVC now, this is my 27th Christmas. And I'm a car guy, my name is Dan. Good morning to you and welcome. We have the buying power to go to big companies like Stanley that have been with us for over 139 years and ask them to build us items that they will not build for anyone else. Whenever you hear the term Fat Max in a Stanley line, if you buy the Fat Max drill, you bought the best they make. If you buy the Fat Max screwdriver, it's the best they make. Well, this is their 1400 peak amp power station. Powerful enough to jumpstart any four cylinder, six cylinder, and most eight cylinder vehicles. 1400 peak cranking amps. Built into this unit is also 120 PSI, means pounds per square inch, air compressor to keep your tires pumped up, your basketballs, your bike tires, the SUV, four wheelers, et cetera, keep all those tires inflated. It's also a 500 watt power inverter. These are standard household plugs plugged right into the unit. This unit is completely self-contained. It's going to give me the power to keep things moving and running when there's no power on at our home and we're getting into inclement weather. This is our top of the line. It's the best we offer, it's the best that's made, and we've got it for a very good price. I wanna introduce you to my car guy. Howard, are you? How are good you, my friend? You good morning, thanks for staying up late. I really appreciate oh, no it. Problem. Uh, no problem. We've done this demonstration before, but it's usually with a four, maybe a six cylinder. Right. This, this is what I drive, a Ford F-150. It's a big eight cylinder pickup truck. It takes a lot more cranking amps to right. fire this bad boy over, but this will do it. This will. 1,400 peak amps is the biggest Fat Max we've ever had here, and it has the power for all those full-size vehicles, pickup trucks, SUVs, vans, you name it. It's going to start them right up. Yep. And I know this is probably the most intimidating thing for a lot of people, opening that hood and jump-starting their car, and they worry, can they do it right? Are they going to do something wrong? Because you have one chance with the old-fashioned jumper cables. And, and if you screw it up, you, can, you do damage to your car mm -hmm. or damage to yourself. Absolutely. But Stanley has built the Fat Max with protections in place. So I'm going to go up incorrectly on purpose just to show you if you can open your hood and find your battery, you can do it safely. Here it is hooked up backwards. Yep. It's letting us know. No. A little symbol's flashing saying reverse polarity and it's beeping, letting us know you have it on wrong and you haven't heard anything. So you simply switch it. It's as easy as that. It also tells you when it's right. It gives you that one tone and the engine symbol lights up and flashes. That's letting you know you have a good connection to the battery. So all you do is you take this switch, flip it, and then I turn around and go right back into the cab of the truck, fire it up, and instantly, I'm back on Instantly. You're the instantly road. starting it because you're not recharging this battery. You're jump starting it just as if another car was here, but you don't need that other car. You don't need right. jumper cables. You're not waiting around an hour for roadside assistance. Who's just going to bring one anyway? <laughs> and you've got enough power on this thing. To, I could jumpstart an entire line of trucks, and then the alternator in your vehicle will charge up your batteries. You and drive. that's important, just what you said, Dan, because you may start your jumpstart your car to go to work. Right. You don't have time to fix it when you get out from work. You got to jumpstart it again. You got to jumpstart it again to get where you're going. And, and that's I think just this one is of the great tools. every this bit is important absolutely. as being able to jumpstart your vehicle is. People don't check their air pressure the way we used to years ago. I like the new valve stem. Yes, the it way has that the works. sure fit tip, which makes it very easy. It just threads right yep. on just fingertip strength, you're not wrestling. You notice this is a big 18 inch wheel and the hose is long enough to reach it even when it's right at the top. As Soon as you connect it, press the compressor button, power it'll, it up. It'll automatically read the pressure in the tire. Yes. And what I love about this, Dan, is it has a digital gauge with auto shut off. So that's what's in the tire right nice. now, 35 PSI. And it's set at 35 PSI. So if I can raise it up to 36, press the compressor button. Uh -huh. It's going to turn on and then I can walk away. I don't have to worry about shutting off or overinflating that tire. Good. It knows that pressure. It's going to remember that setting tomorrow, next week, next month. I can go around to all the other tires and get them exactly the same. It takes all the guesswork and worry out of inflating your tire. And this time of year more than any other, as it gets colder and right. colder, it's critical to have the proper air pressure in your tire. Absolutely. That's going to save you money on gasoline, but it's also going to keep you safer. And by the way, you can always find on the inside of the door, right here is a label, that'll tell you what the air pressure is for your automobile. And there it is, Great you can hear idea. it shut, shut off all by itself, no worries. You also get all the nozzles and all the needles that are necessary for Absolutely. sports balls. Beach uh, inflatables even and racing, racing bicycles. bicycles. So you get it all. And this is one of those gifts that someone will use. And by the way, the unit itself is rechargeable over and over and over again. 
You'll charge it up when you get it at home, charge it overnight. Yes, put it on for 24 hours and don't worry about overcharging it because it's built in protection so you can't overcharge then it. Either put it in the trunk of the car, I, mine resides in the back seat, underneath the back seat of my pickup truck. And then what we recommend is, you know, every month or so, pull it off, pull it out, just top it off, make sure you're good right. to go. But this is true independence. This is self-reliance. If your power goes out in your home, then bring it into the house because you'll still be able to plug in things like your alarm clock, which you'll need. You still have to go to work Television, the next day. Television, yeah. light, the charge up your cell phone, your tablets, all the things you Everything see around you here see running. Around is running off of Stanley Fat Maxes. Because it has 500 watts of AC power. This is outlets just like in your house, 500 watts, uh -huh. plug anything you like in there. And it has the 12 volt outlet, just like in your vehicle, and a USB, because we have so many things in our lives now that run off of USB. So you want to keep those things charged up when the power goes out. I mean, think about this, the power goes out and you have a, a laptop that has its own battery, but your router is not running. Exactly. Without power, so or plug for that me, in. My home phone, yes. believe it or not, they would, they'll still work, but you won't hear them ring. So if you plug your home phone into it, you still have phone service even when everybody's dark in the neighborhood. And getting power as easy as plugging it in, hitting the switch. Tailgating. You've got power. Because I don't mind a power outage, but when the blender doesn't work at the tailgating part, right. that's an inconvenience. Now we've seen all the ways it's going to give us power. Jump starting your car, inflating your tire, running things around the house, but we have to give some power back. Sure. Stanley took all the worries out of that too. Instead of losing this charging yes. pack, they've built it right in and you can use any extension cord, but if you don't have one, they've included one. They get your own extension cord and if the power's out for days, they give you a vehicle charging cord so you can plug one end into the 12 volt outlet here. So when I drive to work, just plug it into the exactly. cigarette lighter and recharge it. Recharge it while you're so going. I can use so it again when I get home. Power's out at home, it hasn't come back on, charge it up while you're driving. It could be easier. Everything stores right, right in this in compartment back. in the back. Howard, and by the way, we've done this with Stanley a few years in a row and it just keeps getting better and better and better. This is the biggest, most powerful Fat Max unit from Stanley that we have ever offered and we give it to you at $149 and change. There's a lot, there's a lot of $60 and $70 chargers out there in the market, especially this time of year. A lot of gift giving and they become toys. It's almost like the car vacuum. Right, it, it, That exactly just buzzes right. and doesn't do anything. You gotta spend a little money to get great quality. This is the best we've ever offered. Here's also what it will run in terms of hour long usage right. for things like a 120 watt light bulb for two hours, a 60 watt fan, two hours, a 40 watt lamp, four hours, the laptop and the TV, five hours. So if that powers out and you want to check the weather report, see what the power outage is, you can do that. Plug in your smartphone, 25 hours. Imagine how many charges that is, 25 hours. That's a lot of charges on your phone. Right. Your alarm clock, because just because the power's out doesn't mean you get a day off from work. You still <laughs> got to get up and get there. So here's how it works. Normally, uh, when we do this demonstration, we'll do it with a four cylinder or six. This is a big eight cylinder Ford F-150. And it doesn't take a second car. You don't need the jumper cables, it's self-contained. You don't need a good Samaritan. You are the you good are. Samaritan. You can be on the road in five minutes when your battery's dead. And there's no gauge in your car that tells you your battery's dead or gonna right. die, it just happens. There's a gas gauge, but no battery gauge right. usually. So yes. you don't know what you're doing, open the hood, find the battery, connect it. If you do it wrong, it's gonna tell you. Right there, the symbol's flashing, the tone is sounding, letting you know you have reverse polarity and you haven't hurt or damaged anything. That's so critical because vehicles, especially new vehicles, everything is computer aided it and is. driven by electronics. So when you hook it up right, it's going to tell you that too. Yep. So you know you've got a good connection. The engine symbol's flashing right here. Now you're ready to turn the keyless safety switch to on and you have 1400 peak amps. So the four, six, and eight cylinder engines, you're going to start them up immediately and uh -huh. be on the road. So you're not late getting to work. You're not late getting the doctor's appointment, late picking up the kids, all the places we have to be. And because they're jump starters, that's what the Fat Max is all about. It's utilizing, again, 1400 peak amps, but it's a surge. So it's not going to charge your battery. That'll happen with your alternator as you drive, but you've got enough power in here to jumpstart your vehicle many, many times in a row before you recharge it. Then the air compressor. Yes, this is my favorite feature. 120 PSI air compressor with a sure fit tip. So you don't have to wrestle with that hard to install and force on. This one threads right onto the valve stem uh -huh. with just fingertip strength. As soon as it's on, you press the compressor button, power it up. It's gonna tell you the pressure in your tire. Most people don't carry a tire gauge with them. Right, and you don't need to with this. It tells you the pressure. And then you I can agree. set the pressure you want right there. Once it's set, you're ready to just push the button again. And it turns on and after that, 
you're worry free. You can walk away, get back in the car and stay warm. It's gonna pump that pressure till it hits the shut off. What you're giving is the gift of independence, the gift of self-reliance. It is. Uh, as a father, uh, I wanna make sure my daughter's got something like this in her car, my son-in-law, my wife. Uh, I've got one in the back of my truck. It's the biggest, baddest unit that Stanley's ever made. And they don't sell it anywhere else in the world. It was made for QVC and made for you. Enjoy it. It's one of my top 10 gift pick ideas as well. Howard, thank you, sir. Thank you, Dan. I'm gonna say good